Luciana is young, beautiful, and rich. Her moments are fun and never ending. But a close look reveals an insensitive and envious girl. Being a sport model, Luciana's envy of supermodel Helena extends beyond the catwalk. Are you okay? Get away from me. You must be happy with what happened. It's a curse. You've cast a curse on me. Oh my God! Helen admits, falls in love, and marries Luciana's father, Marcus. Dad! Dad? I just can't believe it. I'm starting to think this is a trap. Oh, look! The young lady is walking into the lion's den and thinks she's in a church. I didn't know he was your father. Can you hear me? Get out! Or else I will run over you! Run over you! I want to see that. Luciana's selfish life is the synthesis of everyone around her, until a fatality changes the scene completely. In Seize the Day, Manuel Carlos tells stories of survival with delicacy, sophistication and sensibility. It is about rediscovering ourselves, about moments when we find the strength to get up. The theme, therefore, is to seize the day. Because life is worth living. Sponsors invited for this captivating blockbuster. For details, contact GRTS Marketing. Seize the day. Good evening once again. It's a warm welcome to the Gambia Radio and Television Services to another special GRA forum here on Gambia Radio and Television Services broadcasting on MDI Road Canifing. My usual guest, uh, Mr. Mari Sar, who is the acting tax manager at the Gambia Revenue Authority. On my uh, immediate right is Mr. Fafanding Cham, who is the Deputy Commissioner, Large Taxpayers Unit at the Gambia Revenue Authority. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you uh, very this much. process of uh, you know uh, trying to explain to viewers the importance of value-added tax, it's brought to you courtesy of the Gambia Revenue Authority in partnership with the Gambia Radio and Television Services to sensitize uh, our esteemed viewers on VAT itself, so that everybody would be able to consume VAT and also understand what VAT is all about. But before I go any further, the registration had started long ago. Let me hear from uh, Mr. Fafanding Cham. 
how far with the registration process and a business is coming forward for the VAT registration. Yeah. Thank you very much, Modu, and uh, good, good evening, listeners and viewers as well. The VAT has, uh, the registration has started and uh, we have registered uh, quite a number of companies and individual businesses and uh, they've started filing returns. So at the moment we are in the period of uh, return filing and uh, basically the discussion tonight will be centered around filing of returns and the rights of consumers under the VAT regime. Good. Now, uh, since we're going to discuss about filing of returns also. It's a very important you know, topic, especially businesses out there who are listening to this important program. How does this process you know, unveils itself? Okay, thank you very much, Modu. Um, as you have rightly said, this is the GRA Taxpayer Education Program on the newly implemented VAT. And the topic today is filing of returns. Um, the return is just a form that taxpayers need to fill to declare their tax for, for the month. In the return, you have a section which asks the taxpayer what their sales for the month is, how much purchases they've made, how much um, VAT they've collected, and how much put, um, VAT they've in court on their purchases. So in the end, they'll be able to know what they are going to pay at, at GRA at the end of the month, because the tax you are going to pay is the difference between the two. The VAT you've collected on your sales and the VAT you incur on your purchases. The difference is what you should pay to GRA. And the form which you need to fill to declare this tax is called the tax return, the VAT tax return. Good. That means is every business, you know, it's very important for us to make this clear. Is it that every business who just comes to GRA and goes for the form, you can have your tax returned in either ways, or is it those people who have registered with VAT who need to file this tax yeah, return. It, yeah, it is, it is only those people who are registered for VAT. It is only those who are registered who are mandated legally to collect VAT. If you are not registered, you are not mandated by law to collect VAT, and then you don't need to file a return. So it is only those who are registered who are required to file the VAT return. Is there any time frame also to the yes, return process? Yes, just like the sales tax, the law says 15 days af after the end of the month, you should um, fill in the form. If you have any tax to pay on that return, you make sure you pay it before the 15th of the, month, the following month. Good. Uh, Mr. Cham, yeah. uh, VAT comes with a lot of benefits, and yes. we're just you know, informed that also it comes with a tax return exactly. of policy and mechanism. Exactly. Uh, you have some things to add? Yeah, it comes with a lot of uh, benefit, particularly to registrants, that is those companies and individual businesses that have registered for VAT. And the benefits are the input tax credit that they are supposed to enjoy under the VAT regime, which they were not enjoying under the sales tax regime. This is one of the benefits which they claim when they are filing their returns as the tax manager or the acting tax manager, taxpayer service has said. Uh, at the end of the day, when filing your returns, the VAT you have uh, collected, you knock it off the VAT that you incurred. That is the input tax credit week was not happening under the sales tax regime, week the VAT has just replaced. So these are some of the benefits that the businesses are enjoying under the VAT. Good. Now the average, you know, salaried worker, yes. uh, it's important for them. Maybe, maybe they might be inquiring. Yes. Are they also, you know, obliged to come to GRA and claim for tax refund? No, VAT those under the law or in the VAT law, those who are required by law to claim for refund are the businesses that have registered to collect VAT and also embassies and other diplomatic missions that under the VAT law are supposed to claim for VAT return. But the others are just like uh, any other ordinary consumers. Uh, VAT is an indirect form of taxation, as we've said he here over and over, and the target group are the consumers who are the final taxpayers, who by law are not supposed to claim this tax, but they are also benefiting from this tax indirectly, because we all know the revenue collected is uh, uh, paid into government accounts, and that this money is used to finance a lot of development projects, that uh, we are all benefiting from projects like schools, health centers, road network, you name them.